Hi, this is Shadi and I'm gonna try to see and analyze today which one of these two world champions have the better Uchimata. You have Joshiro Maruyama in the minus 66, Shohei Ono in the minus 73. Um, both close in weight, 7 kilos is not that big of a difference. However, we're gonna see their Uchimata in terms of technique, uh, the use of force, uh, speed, and which one has uh, the better or more beautiful Uchimata. We start with Maruyama. Here we can see him performing a classical Oikomi Uchimata. Oikomi is different than Tobikomi. Uh, Oikomi is you stab in and you follow it up with the other leg to support the reaping. Here we see on another angle, he stabs deep, flares the elbows and reaps. And I think uh, the reason why they land so perfectly flat on their back is that he goes a little bit sideways he's not on the axis of uh, his opponent he doesn't lift them with their hips uh, so that's why they uh, keel over and turn to the other side so he only reaps the leg he doesn't uh, lift them up on his hips and reaps the leg so that's why it uh, looks almost like they're not even being lifted like they almost weigh nothing and that's why it comes out so effortless um, I think uh, Inoue did this in the mine in the plus 100 category he would go to the side and reaps uh, the outer leg in order to um, take down giants here the same example we see reaping the leg almost to the side not on the axis of his opponent uh, flares the elbow for a Kuzushi and stabs in deep and flares up the knee in order to push them up and lands flat on their back perfect oikomi uchimata very aesthetic almost lightning fast no power used typical japanese style of executing a throw um, different than georgians with their powerful uranages etc so um, we can say that Joshiro Maruyama's Uchimata is almost effortless, no force being used, and also very aesthetically pleasing. So he has the three points uh, locked in, um, or the three criteria uh, managed in terms of executing a throw. Now, these criteria can be uh, preferential, they can be uh, uh, subjective, so I'm just analyzing from my point of view. Now, here is a great example of Joshiro not using uh, their, his hips or lifting on his hips. He's clearly squared to the side, not in the middle, and just reaping the inner thigh, which is the definition of Uchimata, inner thigh reap. Here we see it again. Now, let's go over to Shohei Ono. Shohei Ono obviously performs also a Tobikomi, I'm sorry, Oikomi Uchimata, but he is a little bit more uh, on the axis. Here we can see um, that's why Orizhov took a little bit of time to land uh, and did not land so gracefully on his back, even though Ono planted his head uh, on the mat. Here, another example. They don't fall as gracefully. Um, I think it's because when Ono stabs in, uh, the supporting leg is already extended. He doesn't, uh, if he goes in and the supporting leg is a little bent and then uh, pushes, he's gonna have far easier time uh, landing his opponents. But you can see how much flexibility he has when he lands someone and his head is planted on the mat. Here is a better example. Uh, this is similar to Joshiro Maruyama. Um, I would say Joshiro has a better Uchimata in terms of not forcing it and also um, the less use of force and just better overall aesthetics to the technique. He goes to the side but Ono is a bit square uh, in the axis. Ono doesn't uh, extend his supporting leg in order to reap with the other so uh, they have a harder time landing but nevertheless he gets the Ippon. Um, but Ono is a bit more flexible than Maruyama because the moment he reaps, his head touches the mat. That's how 
insane his legs are but Maruyama uh, goes square on the side and just does it effortlessly so I would say if you are someone who's into brute style of judo I think you would go more for Ono style of Uchimata which is like a hopping and really pushing and if you are someone um, that goes for the graceful style of judo I think you would I have a preference for Mariyama um, really going on the side and just uh, reaping away the leg and just landing them flat on their back without the use of force um, this was Shadi and I hope you all enjoyed this analysis and thank you for listening